Welcome to the direct sequel of the video I made where I gave you a tour of my closet and gave you a, a, a sense of how I process, how important it is what I wear, gave you a sense of the general style that I have. And so I hope you enjoyed that video. I think that's very important that I shared that with everybody. This is the direct sequel to that, to basically challenge the thinking in that 10 minute video that, that was filmed right before this one. Let's check out the comments of the video that ultimately spawned both of these videos. And that is, I care less about hair loss and more about what I wear, man. So that's, that's how I feel. That's how I perceive the world. I value what I wear over the hair on my head. To me, it's, it's a no-brainer. You can be losing your hair. You can be bald. You can be balding as long as you do the best you can with it. But if you're, if you're good at presenting yourself as far as what you wear, ultimately, I have learned that that's what matters more to people. I have learned that it tells more about your attention to detail. It tells, it tells more if you care more about your clothes than, than trying to worry about something you can't ultimately control. But check this out, though. See, that's just how I feel. That's my opinion. And remember, anything you believe about hair loss is true in your own mind. So for me, that's truth. But... There's people who've commented on this video and said quite the opposite. And let me share that with you. All right, so here's a comment. Mick says, uh, quote, should be the other way around in my opinion. Referring to, he's saying, hair matters more than what you wear. And then I had another person uh, say the same thing here. Rex Vile said, it's the other way around, man. So it's interesting uh, looking at that because you know, that is a reflection of how the individual feels. And I think that is very telling about your perception about hair loss. And I, and it's not a, I haven't really brought this up before. Like I've, I've done several different, like, would you rather kind of situations, but I've never asked you to, in your own mind, decide ultimately what matters more, your sense of fashion or your ability to have a, the appearance of a full head of hair. Now, I would naturally assume that most people watching my channel absolutely put more value on their hair as compared to what they wear. Now, let's be careful about what I'm saying here. Ultimately, I'm not saying that if you could either be a good dresser or keep a full head of hair, what would you choose? That's not really what I'm saying at all. I'm saying, ultimately, in your current circumstance, what matters more to you? And I'm telling you, for me, what I wear matters to me. My hair doesn't. I have, I'm putting no faith in my hair. It's pretty decent for, for my age at this point. But if, it, if I lose it all in the next year, all right, that was just my DNA. And I'm like, next? What's next? But I will always have the ability to decide, you know what? It doesn't matter if you even have hair. As long as I present myself in my eyes, that tells a lot about my attention to detail, my level of confidence, even in taking some fashion risks, like wearing the, the stripes that I wear sometimes or whatever it is, or that star shirt that like is an illusion, that, that shows confidence. And you can tell it goes back to what I value. I value confidence over hair. And what we're seeing is a completely different value system that I have compared to most people who watch my videos. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm saying that we're in different places in life. I have a completely different value system because I am, my life's halfway over <laughs> according to how old I shall live as a man in Tennessee. I'll be about 74 according to the Census Bureau. That's what we're up against. I have a completely different value system. So for me, how I look matters a great deal. I, you know, it's funny because if I was noticeably balding, noticeably losing my hair, but I was dressing nice, I would feel better about myself compared to if I had whatever perfect hair means. If I had that, but I had to dress like a slouch, like wearing, like trying to think of like the epitome of awful, like an old faded polo shirt in just these faded khaki pants and then wearing like New Balance 
sneakers. Like wearing that every day, but having perfect head of hair, oh, I wouldn't feel good about myself. I care about what I wear. That really matters to me. So this isn't a this isn't a debate though. This isn't, well, you should care more about your clothes and your hair. Not that's not for me to say. But what I am pointing out in this video is there's a clear dichotomy in the people who watch my videos. If we were to do a survey, I think most of you would disagree with my value system and, and, and say, yeah, totally, hair matters more than clothes. Whereas I'm saying, hmm, you can't control your hair, but you can control what you wear. And to me, that sends a, bitter, a, a bigger message because the way I see it, the rest of the world knows that it's hereditary when it comes to hair loss. But your brain, your ability to perceive what looks good and handsome and what you wear, that actually takes skill. And I think now we're getting into the psychology of why I care more about what I wear than my hair. I think that's what we're getting into because you, one of Nick Shell's sayings is, you focus on what you can control and not on what you can't. And I think that's another thing is that men who have it easy, they just have perfect hair. They rely less on things like what they wear. Let's, let's do the female version of this. Okay. Uh, I remember back in college, I officially became aware of this concept in general, and I'm totally stereotyping. I hope no females are watching this video, but I noticed a theme in which the classically prettiest girls that I'd see, you know, that your classic nines and tens, eight and a half, they knew they were very attractive. So they were less interesting of people to be around. They just, they didn't have as much going for them other than their looks. And I found that girls who were more in the middle range were, they actually were interesting to be around. And so this whole concept that pretty girls rely more on the looks and all that, kind of thing with the hair with with guys if a guy has it easy and just has perfect hair and he's depending on that then is he going to pay as much attention to what he's wearing or side conversation is he going to pay as much attention to working out and, and depending on muscles and so I think it, it, I make this video just to remind us of our own value system and again my point is not to say that you should have my value system I'm a libertarian by default, I'm not trying to make you think anything or believe anything. I have my own belief system and I respect yours, but I am happy to share with you what mine is. There was one more comment on here that I, I thought was worth bringing up if I can find it. Uh, because we're, we're, we're definitely big into psychology here uh, on this topic. Um, so what the last thing I wanted to uh, follow up with here is Charlie S left a comment and he was like joking around and this is what he said he said so the quote your hair is the most important thing you wear line is just a marketing stick then I guess he's talking about one of the brands that has stick on hair or something whatever it is but let's 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 end the video by breaking that apart so the fact that a hair product company their catchphrase would be, quote, your hair is the most important thing you wear. And see, that's how I'm going to end the video. Let's contemplate that. Let's think about that. Is your hair the most important thing that you wear? And I think that for most of you, you instantly would say all caps, yes, and three capital, three exclamation marks. But for me and my value system, my hair is not the most important thing I wear. I can I can think of a couple different things that I that matter more that are more important for what I wear than my hair. And I, if you're new to this channel, like oh, so he has a toupee? No, I don't. This is my real hair. <laughs> but uh, but as far as this concept of wearing your hair, here's what matters more: what I what I wear in my clothes matters to me. My smile absolutely matters to me. That is something you wear and. Study after study shows that a smile automatically makes anybody more attractive because when you see someone smiling at you, it sends a subliminal message that they're interested in the person they're looking at. So if they're smiling at you, it already makes the other person feel better about themselves. And that's something I'm very aware of, that to be liked and appreciated 
means that you are catering to the psychological needs of other people and making them feel good about themselves and helping them, which is one of the main goals I'm trying to do in these videos. So I'll leave it up to you. What is the most important thing that you wear? For me, it's not my hair and it never will be. In fact, the, the older I get, the less it's going to matter because the less I'll have a choice, the less hair there will be. I value many more things on what I wear, but not my hair. I don't even need to ask the question, so which one do you, all I have to say is, is anybody, anybody else in agreement with me on this? Is there anybody, there's how many subscribers? 6,000 subscribers. Do I have even five people who agree with me on this? I will be surprised if I can find five people who agree with my value system. And that's okay. We can appreciate each other despite our differences. But again, I'll be amazed if I can find five people. Comments belong right here.